issues that were raised in those 25 or 30 emails. But before I go on, I want you to sit down. And I want you to sit down in a solid chair from which you will not be able to fall out of because I'm going to give you some news that's going to startle you. Okay? So please, I mean, I'll give you a couple seconds. Sit down. Find a nice, comfortable chair. Sit down. All right, good. The revolution has begun, my friends. The revolution has begun. What, you ask? What do you mean? Well, I'll tell you what I mean. I turned the computer on the other day, two days ago, and I saw a message, and I knew, I knew the world was changing. It was a tweet from the Humane Society of the United States informing the Twitter world that Subway was phasing in cage-free eggs. Kudos, read the tweet. Kudos to Subway for phasing in cage-free eggs. And they gave a, a link. And I went to the link and I read it. And I knew the revolution had begun. Subway will ensure that to start 4% of the eggs used for its breakfast menu nationwide do not come from hens that have been kept in battery cages. 4% of those eggs are going to come from animals who were tortured in cage-free situations, not tortured in battery cage situations. 4%. And it's going to expand. The, the percentage will expand. So Subway will, at least according to this story, will increase the percentage of eggs that come from animals tortured by method X rather than tortured by method Y. And HSUS points out that Subway's policy also includes giving purchasing preference. I'm reading this now. This is not my imagination gone wild. This is the HSUS story I'm reading from. Subway Brand's new policy also includes giving purchasing preference to pork and poultry suppliers that use more humane methods of housing and slaughter, respectively. Currently, the Subway Brand uses a significant amount of pork from suppliers that are phasing out the use of gestation crates to confine breeding pigs, and more than 5%. 5% people, did you hear that? 5% of the turkey, it's turkey, comes from suppliers that use controlled atmospheric killing. So, 4% of Subway eggs are going to come from animals tortured in cage-free facilities. Subway is going to give purchasing preference to pigs that were not involved with gestation crates, that were tortured in other ways. And 5% of the turkey that people are eating at Subway, 5%, think of that, out of every 100 turkey sandwiches, five of them are being produced from gassed chickens, not electrically stunned chickens. The revolution has begun. And Subway, here's a quote from Subway, and this quote is actually in the uh, HSUS uh, story here. I don't know that I would have put this in if I was HSUS, but hey, I guess they're not ashamed of it. Um, but Subway said, we have made a commitment to be more environmentally and socially responsible. We are working with our partners at the Humane Society of the United States. Our partners at the Humane Society of the United States. You know, last week or the week before, I wrote an essay, blog essay, in which I talked about the partnership between institutional exploiters and these large animal corporations. And I got several emails from people who said, you know, do you think that that was fair to use that language to say that? That, in fact, animal organizations are partners with animal exploiters? Well, people, here it is. Here it is 
right in an HSUS story. We have Subway describing HSUS as its partner. And HSUS puts that in the story. So, those of you who are upset about the fact that I described the relationship between these animal welfare corporations and the institutional exploiters as a partnership. Well then, sorry, go complain to HSUS because they're perfectly comfortable with that language. They're partners. But let's not have that little cloud get in the way of the sunshine that this that it is that is just exuded radiates from this story of revolution four percent cage free eggs five percent gas turkey and pigs who are not subject to the gestation crate which is becoming increasingly clear is an extremely economically inefficient way of dealing with pigs and indeed the studies show quite clearly that sow productivity increases when you don't use a gestation crate. It's economically inefficient to use a gestation crate. So here we go. The revolution is underway. Mm-hmm.